Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Inspector Sun and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 5, Episode 10 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's called Past Life. So we start off with a Zephyr docks at the lighthouse. And then uh, Cassius is on board with his crew, or his um, team, sleeping the Zephyr trying to find the um, Coulson's team. And found Sonara dead, and he gets really mad, like mad as F about it. So the team manages to escape and they get down to uh, one of the floors. I think in the orchard is one of the whiter parts of the lighthouse. And uh, so they escape and then Enoch is still on board and hide and hid from the people. And um, he's going to be working on the device to help send them back to the past. Then Deet doesn't get it because he doesn't know science at all, which is understandable because he's in a feature and they don't really teach <laughs> there. But anyway, um, then we cut to where uh, Tess hurt someone else being hurt when she was brought being brought back to life. So Yo Yo goes to check it out, and then Cassius tells um, I guess some type of doctor guy to fix uh, Sonara, and he's like, "We can't do that," and so he takes him out. And then uh, Cassie's going a little bit crazy because um, Sonar used to balance his thoughts out and used to uh, feed off each other with um, thoughts and how to work out strategies and stuff. And now it's just by himself. It's going a little bit cray cray. <laughs> and so he talks to one of his servants guys and then he gives the guy a weird substance, kind of like, I think they said PHP. I think that's what they said. And it makes the guy uh, strong and mad, and he tells him to go after um, Coulson's team. Then we got to where Mac and Flint talk, and it's like, if you decide to come back with us, but you can stay with us if you want. And he says, and he'll, and Flint said he'll think about it, I think. <clears throat> then we run into Fitzsimmons, and then we cut to the crazy guy versus Daisy. Oh my god, that was a really good fight scene, but Daisy managed to take him out. And then I uh, would cut to where D t uh, sees Tess, and he's kind of speaking in, like, tongue twister style to her. He's like, and she's like, it's okay, it's nice to see you too. <laughs> and uh, so she talks to Coulson, and they, he's like, I know where you've been, you just gotta focus, you can get these people to safety. And so uh, Tess tells him, like, you're right, we can do something, so let's help these people. And she takes the um, people, the humans on the trawler. Then, then you go, is at the place where Tess said she hurt the other person in pain, and we cut to Cassius going even more cray crates on the borderline loopy, and so he uh, takes the substance that he gave to the other guy, and he takes it, and then he leaves, and then we go to Yo Yo gets uh, to gets to the seer, and it's her in the future. It's her future self. What? So, um, and it turns out, uh, so she's talking to herself, <laughs> literally, and they basically said like they cut off her arms and they tortured her and they offed her like a bunch of times. But they kept on reviving her for her blood and for all that type of stuff. And then we cut to where Deke goes to secure goes to secure the machine. And turns out he actually kind of likes Daisy, and because Daisy offered to help, she's like, "No, you're awesome. You're you get the job done. You're a great person. You need to go back to your timeline." And then uh, the <laughs> she said, "What? I still want to help." She's like, "Just shut up and stay." <laughs> And go back. And she says, oh, it's a pleasure being, uh, getting a nice sheet. He's like, kiss my ass. <laughs> and, uh, so anyway, he goes to, uh, goes to secure the machine on Zephyr. And then we have Simmons helping, uh, Flint with the monolith, like, trying to read the, the rock so he can, so they can build it up and to make a new monolith. And fits, um, off the blue people, like, literally, Slides off. It's like, what is happening? And um, Yo Yo talks to herself some more, 
And then Daisy doesn't want to go back to, with everyone because she's afraid that she is the one that's going to destroy the Earth. So, um, so basically, then we have Yo-Yo talks to um, herself some more. Then Coulson talks to Daisy. Then Coulson just ices her. It's like, uh, you don't have a choice. <laughs> And then, um, turns out, um, then Yo-Yo is talking to herself again, and she says that Coulson is dying, and so when they were fighting, when Daisy was fighting the, the, uh, crazy man with the substance, he, um, stabbed Coulson that's, um, killing him. So, there's that. And then Yo-Yo tells her to go, because, um, I guess Cassie's coming to get him. And then, um, we have Flint in space. Uh, getting um, some rocks together, and they have Enoch gets hit by a blue guy, and gets like really bad, like really bad off. And then Flint um, basically grabbed the rocks in space and threw them at the Cree, and they all went into space, and they went bye bye. <laughs> and then uh, we have Deke took out uh, the Cree as well that um, to help. Um, Enoch with the device. The Flint is working on the monolith and it's getting it uh, to shape up and to look right. Then Mech finds old Yo-Yo that Cassius is literally dangling on top and is threatened to kill her and stuff. And then Cassius uh, drinks the substance and all, uh, kills the old Yo-Yo. Then it's Cassius versus Mech. The Enoch uh, said he will power the device but it will kill him and I think the top few layers of the, of the lighthouse. <laughs> and it'll certainly kill Deke, <laughs> for sure. And then we have Flint takes the girl to the trawler. Um, it says, like, I gotta go um, help protect my people. And then it discusses versus Mac again. And then Simmons comes in and puts that thing in his ear and says, silence. And so then he gets not uh, for a loop and he can't hear or see and then Mac literally takes care of that and basically uses his battle axe and he's gone <laughs> and then um then we cut to where yo-yo uh, gets to Mac and then the regular yo-yo gets to Mac and then you know powers the device and then Deke puts on uh turns on the device and then the monolith uh, does its thing, and then we cut to Flint and Tessa talk about rebuilding the Earth with the Inhumans, and that's the end of the episode. They don't show them getting back on the actual planet. You gotta wait a month, a month for that to happen. Jeez. <laughs> um, but I like this episode a lot. Um, I'll give this a a. I'll give it a. The Cassia scenes. <laughs> I feel like it could have gone a little bit better. I, to be honest, I was not paying that much attention to him because he was just spewing nonsense after a little bit. I was like, I don't got fun time for that. But anyway, um, other than that, it was a great episode. I like the fight scenes. I love the storyline. And just everything about the episode I thought was pretty good, except for that part I just mentioned. I think it's going to be really interesting to see what happens and if the future will actually will change or will it will continue what's going to happen. So I'm very interested to see what's going to happen there. And I just love the show so much. Oh my god. Anyway, um, I think that's going to do for this episode. Um, I wonder if they'll ever get rid of the inhibitor on Daisy. And uh, so she'll be able to use her powers again. Or what's going to happen with um, Coulson. Since he is dying because of that wound he got. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens, and I'm just so excited. Anyway, that's one to do for this episode. So if you like the that well that that's one to do for this video. <laughs> so if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, and tell me what you think. Do you agree or disagree? And also any other suggestions you want me to check out, whether it's a TV show, music, or movies, just let me know down below, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye everybody.